Jumpstart London is by far our most popular program, and this is the perfect program to start with if you want to be based in London. All job and accommodation options with Jumpstart London are in London. Start dates for this program are year round. Our Jumpstart London programs always start on a Monday and you can start any week of the year except for the last two weeks of December or the first two weeks of January when it's the Christmas and New Year break. This is by far the most travel flexible option out of all of the programs included with UK Live, Work and Play. There is no minimum commitment period required and you can come and go from London as often as you'd like. Jobs included with this program pre-departure are indoor events, hospitality work, working front of house food and beverage service jobs within four to five star hotels, outdoor events, labouring and crewing, or general labouring and removals work. For these job roles, you set your own availability, you let the teams know what days you want to make yourself available for work on, and then they book you into shifts accordingly. You can make yourself available for as many or as little days work as you like, and you can come and go from these jobs as often as you'd like to. There are a few different types of accommodation available to you with our Jumpstart London program. Depending on your accommodation preferences, you'll start out in London City Rooms or our East London Hotel accommodation, and you'll be able to move straight into your accommodation from the airport when you arrive. Our London city rooms are the most popular choice. These properties are located in zone one of central London. They're student style accommodation buildings and there are a range of single and shared rooms available. There's a mix of single ensuite, single, twin share, triple share, and even four to six bed dorm rooms. And for the shared rooms, there's a loyalty scheme. So the longer you stay, the cheaper your rent becomes. Rent includes all bills, free Wi-Fi, contents insurance, 24 hour CCTV, Bedding's provided, there's a cleaner who services the rooms and communal areas regularly, a common room with a TV, foosball table and a pool table, there's an on-site coin operated laundromat and an on-site gym with basic cardio and weights equipment. There are catered and self-catering properties. If you're in a catered property, then rent also includes breakfast and dinner Monday to Friday and a cooked breakfast and lunch on the weekends. Room types are subject to availability, so during your consultation call, we will run you through these options in a bit more detail, and then once your dates are confirmed, you'll know what room options are available to you for your planned arrival. We also have a number of properties in East London and South West London, which are Kiwi and Aussie house shares and more of a flat share type of scenario. You'd have your own room and then share communal areas of the house with your other housemates. These properties are in hot demand, so if this type of accommodation is your preference, we'll pop you on our waiting list. Then when a room becomes free, you'll be able to view it in person, meet potential housemates, and then if you like it, make the switch. Our London hotel style accommodation is based in zone three of East London. It's hotel style housing, so you'd have your own room within the hotel with an ensuite bathroom. Rent is £150 a week for a single ensuite room with a single bed or £180 a week for a double room if you're travelling as a couple. It's hotel accommodation so there's no kitchen or laundry facilities but there is a laundromat close by and a restaurant in the hotel. There's also a kettle in your room with milk pods for making tea and coffee. These hotel rooms are budget backpacker style and this accommodation is best suited to travellers who want their own space or a cheap temporary room while they look for their own housing on arrival or wait for one of our other room types to become available. For the indoor events hospitality work, you'll be working in four and five star hotels, iconic venues and star studded events across London. You'll be part of the hospitality team working at corporate, charity, private and celebrity events. No experience is required, but you will need to attend an induction and job training session before you can start work. And this will happen once you're in London. Duties at your shift may generally include front of house food and beverage service, preparing breaking down of the function rooms, bar work, cloakroom work, room service or porter work, as well as other ad hoc hospitality duties. Wages start at £11 per hour and some hotels pay up to £14 per hour. For this type of work, you're paid weekly. The general labouring and office removals work is labour intensive and as a removals worker you'll be working with a team to move the contents of homes and offices including furniture and personal belongings from one location to another. Most of this work is Monday to Friday working from 8am to 4pm but there are weekend shifts available too for anyone wanting extra hours. 
With this type of work, you often get tips on top at the end of jobs too. And if you manage to finish the job earlier than expected, you still get paid for your full work day. This team can also help with professional trades work like general labouring, painting, plumbing, electrical work, carpentry, landscape gardening and more. So if you've got qualifications and you're wanting this type of work in London, you can always start out doing some labouring and removals work while they get you into this sort of work too. The outdoor labouring and events crewing work is varied. No two days are the same. One day you could be unloading a truck outside a hotel, the next putting covering on a race course, the next helping the lights, sound and set departments set up for a show. The work is really physical and the crewing team undertake a huge range of work within the corporate events, television, theatre and festival business sectors. On arrival, you'll have to attend a health and safety and induction day, and at the end of this, you'll have to complete a manual handling test to show that you're strong enough to safely lift and maneuver all of the crewing equipment. Once you've done this, you'll be welcome to the team. Due to the nature of the work, there are crews working somewhere every hour of every day, so you have to be flexible. It's events-based work and truly a 24-7, 365 days a year business. There will be a lot of late night event pack downs and early morning event setups with this type of work. Wages here start at £12.34 per hour and you're paid monthly. Although there is an early pay scheme where you can withdraw a portion of your wages once you've worked your shifts if you do want to get paid earlier five-star hotel and you don't want to be based in London. This is the cheapest accommodation and best program if you want to be out of London and you want your own room. The adventure resort season runs from February to November every year. The camps close down from November to February during the winter season here in the UK. You need to be able to commit to working for at least three months to be eligible for a placement at the adventure camps. All jobs come with live-in staff accommodations. What this looks like depends on the camp that you're working in. Accommodation here is either dorm style with bunk beds or twin share. All rooms are single sex unless you're a couple and then you'll be placed in a twin share together. There are 14 camps located around the UK in Scotland, Wales and England.